क्लास टेन एक्सरसाइज नंबर 5.3 क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द स्ट्रेट लाइन पासिंग थ्रू द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन सेगमेंट जॉइनिंग द पॉइंट वन कमा माइनस फाइव एंड फोर कमा टू एंड पैरल टू एक्स एक्सिस एंड पैरल टू वाई एक्सिस सी दिस इज द गिवन पॉइंट विड्रॉफ्ट बोथ पॉजिटिव मीन लाइस अंदर फर्स्ट क्वार्टर राइट Imagine x comma two means is the point four comma two. X axis one, y axis is minus one means the point is lies here. X axis one, y axis five means the point is this is the point. So one comma minus five. Now this is the straight line. Now we want to find out the midpoint of this line, right? We know the formula. Now midpoint is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 is the formula. Now the first point we take as x1 y1, second point we take as x2 y2. Now apply the value 1 plus 4 divided by 2 minus 5 plus 2 divided by 2. Then the midpoint are 5 by 2 comma minus 3 by 2. This is the midpoint. Now we have find out that five by two under three comma two as the midpoint. Imagine here it is the midpoint, right? Because minus three by two is the in the fourth quadrant. Y is value is minus three, so it will be lies in the fourth quadrant wherever it is. Now first Roman number we want to find the parallel to parallel to x-axis. See. The line is parallel to x-axis and passing through the midpoint. Here, the line is passing through like this. The line parallel to x-axis means we know that the slope y is equal to b. The slope is equal to zero. Slope m is equal to zero. And then parallel to x-axis means we know the formula y is equal to b. Here, y is equal to b means in the place of y, the b value we have to apply. This is the x value. This is the y value, right? So this is the value of b minus three by two. The midpoint we take it as a comma b or c comma b whatever may be right. The y-axis y value is the b y is equal to b is the formula. So we take this term that is minus three by two. Now we have let we we can say this is the equation or otherwise we form the equation. If you take this two to this side two y. Is equal to minus three and take the minus three to another side. Two y plus three is equal to zero is the equation. One of the method. Or otherwise, we know that point slope form y minus y one is equal to m of x minus x one. By point slope form, we can able to find out here we have know that the parallel to x axis means the slope is equal to zero. So in this place, I put zero means whole term becomes zero. Here y minus y one x one y one. Y one is three by two, right? So minus into minus plus three by two. Then we take LCM here. Two y plus three divided by two. The whole term becomes zero. You don't want to apply here x value. Suppose if you want to apply the x value, then this is the x value, right? Zero into any number is zero. So two y plus three is equal to zero. Two into zero is zero. This is the equation. Either we can use this formula y is equal to b directly. We take the value, or otherwise. Point one point and slope is known. One point and slope. Then we can use the idea. Then second one, parallel to y-axis. Parallel to y-axis means we know the formula. Then x is equal to c. C. The line is passing through here. That is parallel to y-axis. Here the line is passing like this through the midpoint. This line is parallel to y-axis. If the parallel to y-axis means the distance of this x is equal to c, right? So we have already find out the midpoint, the five by two, right? Midpoint is five by two in the place of x. So x equal to c means x is equal to five by two. I take this two to this side. Two x is equal to five. Then take the five to this side. Two x minus five equal to zero is the equation of the. Line parallel to y-axis. Thank you, students.